Hi everyone, I am here to show you how to do five simple DIYs for your fall decor. Whether you want to do it very harvesty or uh, farm decor or end up with some glam, uh, I will show you how to do five simple and affordable ones using Dollar Tree items or 99 cent only store items because I did include from uh, uh, what I bought at both stores and uh, dollar items at Michael's. I know they usually at Michael's you will see at the front that they will have uh, items for a dollar less or even a two dollars three dollars but I tried to have everything under a dollar except for the E600 and of course the glue gun, but everything else was a dollar or less. So let's see what I came up with and hopefully I can give you some great ideas. Okay, so we're gonna start with this glass candle holder. And what I'm going to do here is get this little spatula here and this uh, deco acrylic paint that I'm going to be using to paint this candle holder. This is like an off-white or cream colored uh, paint. You can find this at Michael's uh, in the uh, arts and crafts section. And uh, you can use a coupon. I used a 60% off coupon, so I paid about $2.39 for this paint. And it does last a long time. This jar does last quite a bit. So it doesn't take much to paint this uh, candle holder. So I'm just finishing it up here, making sure I have it like I want it. And now I'm going to wait for it to dry. Move it aside there. Yeah, don't do that. Don't move it aside with a knife, but that's what I had available, so I went ahead and moved it aside. And now, while that is drying, I am going to cut the top of that pumpkin. It is a styrofoam pumpkin that you can get at the Dollar Tree. And I am just uh, cutting a little more because I want to put that pillar candle. It is an LED candle, and it's just I'm just making sure that it fits. And now I am going to paint this pumpkin as well because I want it a different color. I did not want orange and it doesn't have to be perfect. Some of the orange can show, but I'm trying for the orange not to show as much. So I am painting it um, with a, quite a few coats. As soon as I'm done with the first one, you're gonna see that I'm just gonna go over to different places where I see some of the orange popping out more. And um, once I'm done painting this, we are going to continue with the rest of this. So as you can see, trying to get most of the orange not to show. And now letting it dry so we can continue. So I'm doing <laughs> two at a time here. So now that the candle holder is dry, we are going to use some E600 which also I got at Michael's, a dollar off. And I am adding this beautiful pumpkin um, candle, hold well, not a candle holder, tea light holder uh, on top of it and making a simple uh, decoration for fall for your home or anywhere else you want to put it. I'm using it on my table. And now we're coming back to this pumpkin. And as you can see, I did add some metallic paint to it. Is this one right here that I got at a uh, family dollar for a dollar. And again, these paints last a lot. <laughs> so let's get started with this pumpkin. We're gonna add all these flowers around the pumpkin at the bottom of the uh, pillar uh, LED candle. So I'm just pulling them all apart, uh, making sure that I have enough for the for it to cover the whole um, bottom of the of the candle, top of the pumpkin, bottom of the candle. 
And I am uh, taking some of the leaves off because I will be using the leaves as well just to give it some greenery. And now I am just pressing them into the pumpkin because this pumpkin is styrofoam so you don't even have to glue them if you want to add uh, glue to them and then press them in you can go ahead and do so but I am just pressing them in because they go quite in, they go in quite easily uh, on the styrofoam uh, pumpkin and uh, as you can see just the greenery and the flowers are making a big big difference on how this pumpkin looks so just interchanging them, making sure that I'm adding enough, adding a few more, and there you have it. Look at how beautiful that looks. Now this one here, I had a metallic uh, flower pot holder, not big, a small one, and what I went ahead and did was spray painted outside. I spray painted it white because I did not want that uh, silver color or you know that stainless steel color I wanted something different so I went ahead and did white and uh, of course just painting it all over not caring if the inside was painted or not letting it dry and then bringing it inside so I could uh, add the rest to it and what I'm doing with this is I am going to add this uh, lacy ribbon around it on top of it or on the top I'm sorry and at the bottom so we're gonna start with the top first as you can see I all I'm doing is hot gluing all the ribbon around the top and then we are going to do the bottom as well cutting it there and then now we're going to start with the bottom. Something very simple. But you will see just little things make such a difference. There I am adding the pumpkin that's already decorated with flowers. But as you can see, I added foam underneath. Just a piece of foam. It doesn't matter. It's just so it could have uh, more height and that's it I now what I'm doing is using this polish to pretty much stain this little crate I got this crate for a dollar at Michaels and I am going to be adding that pumpkin some of those uh, decorations there they these right here I want to use that squash I think that's was it what is it a squash that's what that looks like to me and then I am using this little stack of straw bale uh, I don't know that it's going to allow me to use it but I'm also going to use this natural raffia uh, maybe not sure yet either one we'll see how that works but first of all we're going to start polishing it I am going to use both colors the brown and the black just so it could give it a more rustic look and not have that just natural color. I want uh, just a little more tint to this. I don't want to paint it. I just want to stain it a bit. So with the cloth that the polishes came with, I went ahead and started uh, staining it with the brown. And then I'm adding black to it, as you can see. It's not going to be really, really dark, but it is going to give it a different um, tint. And I am doing one side at a time just to make sure that I have the stain that I want on every side. Again, I start with the brown and then I start adding the black to it. It all depends on how dark you want it. I did not want it really dark, but at the same time, I did not want it that natural wood color. And then I didn't want to paint it, so. Wanted something different, so this is what I came up with. So one more side, we're doing the bottom. 
and same thing starting with the brown first adding some black making sure that I, ha that I get all the edges There, now you're starting to see more of the black. Just giving that the whole crate a different, different look. Again, not too dark, but not too light. And now I am going to add a little bit to the top just so it can look the same with everything else. I'm not going to do the inside because I'm going to be adding this. This is messy and I was trying to see if this would work but I'm not liking how it looks. So now I'm going to try this and see if this looks better which I think this is going to work better. I am going to cut it because I'm, going, I'm not going to need it all. So there you have it. That definitely worked better for me. And we're adding the white pumpkin and the little squash. We're adding some of that decor as well, those little balls. I'm just adding one, nothing fancy. And we're gonna add this little leaf. I'm trying to position it to see which, where I want to add it. And it looks like I like it there. So now I have glued all of this and as you can see it looks very harvesty farm looking and now the glam one this one here is a candle holder glass candle holder and a tea light holder and of course I'm using E600 I am applying not a lot, just in, enough around the whole rim of the candle holder. Just all around. And then I am going to place this on top, making sure that I have it right in the middle. And there's my glam piece. Of course, you have to wait for this to dry. So I will be putting it aside and letting it dry. Now, we are going to use these pecans. This face right here that I love the shape of is something new that I found at Dollar Tree and this nautical rope. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be adding this nautical rope to the bottom of this face to just give it a different look. I'm also going to be adding a flower to it and hoping that it turns out the way I want it to. So here we are getting the nautical rope and as you can see, I'm just hot gluing the rope all around. Pressing on it, making sure that it does not move. It's going to be going all around the base. Adding hot glue in certain parts, not a all around underneath the rope but just in certain parts to make sure that it doesn't move. Now cutting it and making sure that I glue the other end as well. And there you have it. I like how it turned out and now I am going to be adding this leaf or these leaves right here. We are going to glue them. So I'm going to add some hot glue and of course press that in and hold it tight. Mm -hmm. 
And now uh, we're going to add the flower that I was talking about. And we're just going to add the flower right on top of the glue. It looks like the stem is a little big, so I'm going to cut that stem a little bit and press it back on to make sure it stays. And that is it for that. Now, what I am going to do is add the pecans in there. And of course, whoever likes pecans will be cracking these and eating them. But they are a nice decor for my countertop. I just think it looks cute and simple. And here's a picture of it. And here's a picture of all of them. Five simple and affordable DIYs that you can use for your fall decor. I want to thank all of you for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you enjoyed the five DIYs that I was able to create and maybe give you some great ideas on what you can do at, very, uh, at a very affordable price for your fall decor. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe. Comment below if you would like to see more of these videos or more of my DIYs. I have many. Thank you. Bye.